Let's construct a regular boss plot and find the file number summary of this data set. First, we do this by hand and then we do this using a graphing calculator. So what is the first thing that you will have to do when you find the file number summary? So file number summary contains Q1, Q2 and Q3, right? The first 25%, the first 50%, the first 75%. So that means uh, the position of the data is important so therefore we have to short the data in ascending order first so the data is already shorted in ascending order how many numbers do we have so in this uh, data set we have uh, 17 numbers so where is the median the median is the ninth value right so the ninth value which is 28 so the 28 is my median which is q2 and then we can easily find the minimum and the maximum okay so on the left hand side of a uh, median we have a uh, seven value so that means the we have seven value so that means uh, the median is oh sorry we have a value that means the first on the first half the median is what q1 is right here right so in Q1, you have four numbers on the left and four numbers on the right. To find Q1, we take 5 plus 9 divided by 2, that equals to 7. And then the Q3, the Q3 is right here, right? So here is Q3 right there. So that will be a 37 plus 40 divided by 2 equals to 38.5. So we have minimum. Q1, Q2, Q3, maximum, maximum is 130, minimum is negative 42, Q1 is 7, Q2 is 28, and then Q3 is 38.5. Now, let's construct a regular boss plot. So we start with the minimum. So this point stands for negative 42 is minimum, and then we draw a reasonable distance. Sometimes the paper is not, not long enough, so just do the best you can. So, and then to negative 7, negative 7 and then uh, 28 and then 38.5 and the maximum is 130 which is right over here right and then we have a middle 50 percent so we draw a box the box stands for the middle 50 percent of the data is between q1 and q3 and then the middle is q2 so q2 this is a 130 so we say this is the maximum all right. Oh, again, for the box, the middle 50%, how's the middle 50% work? So let me show you a quick picture really quick. So how do we, def how do we cut, how do we cut a line using a fine number summary? So here is how we do it. On the very left hand side, we have a minimum. Right hand side, we have a maximum, right? So first we cut the line into bisect the line into two pieces so this is my median q2 so you have 50 percent on the left and then 50 percent on the right half of 50 is 25 so that is q1 then you have 25 25 and then q3 bisect the second half into two pieces so this is another 25 another 25 right so if you take a look at the two pieces in the middle so the sum of 25 and 25 is 50% so that's how the middle 50% works okay so now we got the regular boss plot how do we do this on a calculator so when you do this on your calculator you don't have to sort the number by yourself you can ask the calculator to do it for you so let's let's enter the data first so to enter the data first we go to stat hit the stat key and then we go to edit so there is an old data because uh, that is for the previous problem. So now let's input the data. So let's say you have some, some, some data in your L2. How do we clean this up? So you push the cursor, look, look at the, the, the blue box all the way up. Now it's on L2. You hit clear, you hit enter. So now you are ready to go. So negative 42. Oh, when you type negative 42, where is the negative sign? The negative sign is between the decimal point and the enter key. The one above plus that is a minus minus and negative they are not the same okay the calculator has two separate key one for negative one for minus do not type minus 42 if you do then there is a syntax error so minus the key between the decimal point and enter 
negative 42, negative 3, and then 0, 5, 9, 17, 20, 25, 28, 29, 32, 37, 130, 90, 46, 40. And then you make sure you double check the data because you don't want to mess up the entire problem. So negative 40, 46, 90, 130, 37, 30, 37, 30. Okay, so it looks like I missed a 33. Okay, so I'm going to override the 37. So this is a 33. And then 37, 130, 90, 46, and 40. You just override the numbers. Okay, 40, 46, 90, 130. I just saved the whole problem. 37, 33, 32, 29, 28, 25, 20, 17, 9, 5, 0, negative 3, negative 42. I know they are not in ascending order. How do you put them in ascending order? So this is how. First, you do second mode to quick. And then you go to step. And then now you don't hit choose edit. You choose short A. Short A means short the data in ascending order that returns to the home screen. And then you press L2, second 2, second, and then you press 2. Close parenthesis, and then you hit enter. So now the data is sorted in ascending order. Uh, you don't have this uh, this in your in your TI-84. You, you see the word done, done. So when you see the word done, you go back to step and then go back to edit. You check out L2 again. Now the data is sorted in ascending order. Now, to answer this question, do I need to sort the data first in order to find the fine number summary in my TI-84? The answer is no. When you find the fine number summary, the calculator will sort the data in the background. They won't show you the result. When you do sort A, you force them to show you the result. But this is a calculator. Even though you don't sort the data, when you ask for a fine number summary, they will sort first. They will do it behind the scenes so you don't see it and then give you the correct fine number summary all right why do i still need to learn how to do the short a what if your instructor asks you to do this on paper then using short a then you don't need to short numbers by yourself trust me when you find a random problem from a book sometimes they make the numbers so weird they have a long data they have a long data set the numbers are shuffled up it takes you like five minutes to get the short correct trust me if then you see that, use the short A function in your calculator that helps you to short the data 100% correct. Now, let's move on to the fine number summary. We go to second mode too quick. So now let's clean that up. We go to step. Now, this time we go to cal, just press the right arrow. We go to cal and then we use the first one, one variable stats. And then I put my data in L2, so second two. If you are using an older 84 or TI-83, uh, you should see one variable stats on the home page. And then there is a cursor flashing, right? They expect you to input something. Just input L2, L1, L3, the place where you, the list where you store your data. So my, I have L2. And then I press calculate. Yours, you can press enter. So go down so you see that there are 17 data minimum is 42 and then we have q1 so let's check this so we have a 42 q1 28 38.5 and then 130 so use this do this on the test you get the fine number summary 100 percent correct now let's get the boss plots to get the boss plot our screen will be a little bit different so let's clean Let's clean this up now. You, you don't have to, but mine is a little bit different. Again, my calculator is a Graphing Calculator Pro, a $5 app I purchased from the App Store. So where do we have to go? First, we go to second Y equal. So second Y equal. Now you don't see this screen, right? So if you want to, uh, if you want um, the screenshot, you should watch the previous video. Okay. In the previous video, I show you a full screenshot. I In each screenshot, I show you exactly what you have to see in your calculator. So if your calculator is already set up, make sure only plot 1 is on. Plot 2 and plot 3, plot 4, they must be off. Okay, Only the first plot is on. If they, the plot 2 or plot 3 is on, go in there, choose off, and then press enter. So if you want to exit, click second mode. All right, so 
go back to mine. So now my first first uh do you see there are two two pieces, one blue, one red. So the blue one is uh is the blue one is uh oh actually I don't have to choose on and off because by default it will stay on. So my the X where did I put my data? I put my data in L2, right? So I put my data in L2, then I have to choose L2. And then uh, for the type, which one is a regular boss plot? Do you see there are two boss plots in there, one with two dots on the right, one without? You have to choose the one without two dots. The one with two dots, they are modified boss plot. That boss plot helps you to detect outliers. We will discuss that in the next video. So choose the one without two dots. After everything is done in your calculator, click the zoom key. The zoom is right above the DEL, the delete key, and then click the number nine. So in my, all I need to do is I click graph. You should be able to see the regular boss plot on, on the screen. So my, it looks like this, because this one, um, so my looks like that. So this is in a perfect scale. All right, so that will be all in this video. In the next video, I will go over modified boss plot. You use the modified boss plot to detect outliers. If you think my instruction is helpful, please subscribe, like, share this out for me. Thank you really, really much. I see you all in the next one.